thank you everybody again uh, for for being here. The nice thing about Brain is that you cannot leave. My name is Javier. People call me Pocho. Um, so I'm going to talk. I have very few slides. Um, I'm going to talk about X Dot. We have a new. Give it closer. Okay, there. So I'm going to talk about X Dot. We have a new key in the town. Um, it's a new dialect. Uh, we have been working on B for a long time. Uh, we use it for our, for, for our products, and now we are um, basically working on this version of a slot that is completely open source from the beginning, and um, um, the, uh, that is a dialect of slot that is multi VM with the platform, and that is not the traditional small talk baby, maybe a small talk 90 or 2000, I don't know. Uh, we are trying to change a little, a little bit, uh, a few days. Um, so what I'm going to show today is basically one of the platforms and a little bit of the, of the system. The platform is going to be the JS ecosystem. So this is going to be a demo of um, a, a small dog right on top of a Node.js uh, system. So we have a, uh, a slot of VM written in JavaScript. So we are going to run our slot of code on top of JavaScript instead of writing it in a traditional uh, native VM. Um, so but that's basically X Smalltalk in a nutshell. You can go there to this uh, repo in GitHub and basically clone the repo and uh, see what you get from there. You can load the repo or you might be able to also download the package. We are working on that, so it's still pretty alpha quality. But anyway, so I'm going to start the demo, right? So here I am in the GitHub repo. I should have some button server. Uh, this seems to be like the fall major phase. I don't know. So, I know it's just boundary buff. Okay. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see, play C well. Well, I guess I won't say it too much in close. Um, we, we can just make the JS environment. So it's going to the load file. We are going to, what we have basically done is just the source code of A. Uh, we are going to generate an image. So it's a load file. It will take some time. So I prepared the, and uh, basically another copy of this while it's, um, what why file? Yeah. I don't know. I, I had that from a long time. Sorry? If it, if it is a new smartphone, why do you need file for? Okay, so uh, remember that you have to generate a new image from your source files, right? So what it's going to do is to basically read those sources using a, uh, an existing slot. I could have done that in our language too. So if I wanted, I could have done it in C, Java, or whatever. But there is another smartphone. When we have this working, we will be able to do it from the system itself. So basically what I have here is what we are seeing here is the repo. The repo contains a set of modules. So what you can see here is that we have only a few modules right now. Uh, we have to add a little one, a, a set of modules that we already have. They are not using the repo. So what we have basically is this kernel, which is basically all you will find in the small talk AD with some changes because this is not a small talk AD. But anyway, um, so you have the typical classes. And uh, 
What you also have is, for example, some other modules. You have the compiler here. It's another module. And you have this image segment builder. So how do we create the image, right? We treat this, uh, uh, each of these modules as image segments um, or something similar, not equal to the, to the sweet image segments. And what we do is to generate a particular image for the particular platform we are going to on. So in the case of JavaScript, what we are doing from far is read the source files and then we generate an image in JSON format. Why? Because this is JavaScript done. And we have a reader, a little scrubber, that is able to load that JSON and to create objects that um, are the representation of, of our event. So let, let me show you. Here we have a sample server that is going to run on Node. And what you can see here is that we are importing this bootstrapper object that is going to load the kernel JSON. And then what we are going to do is basically to create a couple of objects and to send the message class to these objects. So, ND. There. So, the idea is that in this particular small top, we are, we are creating something like a library, right? So you import the small top library, you load the image using that, and then you just start sending messages to the small top object. So you can do small top computation and as a library. So let's run this. And what we should get in the console is that Okay, so we created a new integer, um, send it the message plus, so we did three plus four. Let's run it again. And what did I? Okay, let's start again. So we have a new integer, right? We created an instance of that. Well, we asked the runtime to give us that because it could be maybe a shared instance or whatever. And we send it uh, the message plus with an argument which is for, right? And when we run it, it gives uh, another integer with represent center. So, great. So what I'm going to show now is that um, well, here I have another single uh, example. It's I committed. So what I'm going to do now is to create an array and I'm free. Right. So, oops. Well, that used to work. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. Um, so in cases like this, well, we don't have yet very good the. Uh, Divide facilities, what I usually do is to just um, uh, add. So what I do is to, I, I just add some uh, breakpoints in usually Sorry, it is Samsung? Yeah, the authority do broad and I found it for you all the game, but my few years. I'm giving it out, sorry. Uh, uh, anyway, I, 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 know, I know it's so bad that I don't jump up, I, I don't want to steal the show for you, but I have something that can uh, help you really. Uh, and I just I uh, because I, I'm a bit excited because I just finished implementing uh, something. Well, I did. Yeah, yeah, I ever said it just stop. And you can go love me. I, I can present I know. what I have. Should I? Okay. Yes. Why not? Yeah. I'm paying the free. Well, so what's your. Really? Stop like that. 
I, 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 I have to leave this. It's the real awkward. I, 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 wasn't, I was supposed to be here. Who are you? I, but can I, I can, I can, can I step okay, on your okay. stitch? <laughs> Thank you. I can, I can copy files. That is the mic. Is there a mic? Is there a mic? We won't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, well, uh, first of all, uh, my name is Isha Mahal, and um, I I have created something that, which is an IDE for Smalltalk that works on a, a web browser, and I can say a few words about that. And uh, I've been following him. I know him, so I've been following him. And I, I really love what he's doing, and uh, if I didn't live your web, but yeah, like this is really amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> when you just built a new small pit from scratch, start getting of it. And D don't worry, don't worry, it's calculated by power. There you go. Yeah. Okay, um, let me see. Oh, you know your machine. Can you copy for for me? Uh, well, uh, in the video, I, I can say a few words about what website. Uh, the name of the IDES website. I have a couple of slides there under the folder edition. So uh, I can. All right. So um, I mean, well, my name is Ishana, as I said, and I started this project a while ago and um, started as a personal project, and then it became our. I would say official IDE in our uh, work for real, we use it for real. Um, in Bismoto, Bismoto is not uh, entirely open source yet, but it's going to be open source someday. I also recommended, um, I mean, this is um, uh, two parts, like an API, so the part of Smalltalk of website uh, means any Smalltalk provided that such a Smalltalk implements this API. So I implemented it in Bismarck, I implemented it in a file, for instance, and I have other dialects as well, the whole thing. I tried change some thanks to James. Uh, uh, but yeah, let me see if I can find uh, the presentation. Okay, you just copy. This is the old one, this is the new one, all right. And do you have the person? Presentation. Okay. Yeah, that running? Yeah. How it will like pitch here. Yeah. Oh, you really have the presentation. This is weird. Oh, shit. All right. The website. As I said before, essentially website, um, uh, it starts from uh, uh, an API, a web server on any small talk implemented this API. And then there is a front end, a, a, a web page, if you will, written in uh, um, React JavaScript. And uh, this opened the door uh, like for many different experiments, such as connecting multiple users to the same system, or, well, this is uh, trivial using the same ID to access to different small talks as they said before. So, um, well, I, I, this is important. Uh, I mean, it is difficult. I mean, the challenge here is to come up with a single common set of uh, tools and options for an ID. Because see, it's obvious that a file developer will, will say, okay, I love this option and I cannot live with it. So if you give me an ID, that doesn't have this option, I, I doesn't uh, uh, want it, I, I, I don't want it. And if, for instance, a, a BD small talk developer um, might say, okay, I love changes, so I need changes browser, so if your ID doesn't provide a good changes browser, well, it's difficult because it's more or less making everyone happy and that's impossible, but yet it's possible to have um, small, minimal, set of tools and options. Uh, so uh, that, that's exactly why uh, we, we try to do with this. So the, here is the, uh, the information where the things uh, live. It's, uh, as I said, open source, any contribution is welcome. 
in a, um, I don't know, in this in the form of uh, developers or or even uh, with other issues. And by the way, there down there is the new egg thing. <laughs> You're missing one. Yeah. Scarlet. Our our I'm missing a lot. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer as well is out here. See, yeah, yeah, buddy. Oh, really? All right. Good. I didn't try with uh, crazy things like uh, a blind list ID to PyCon, for instance, and it's a, a small talkish way to see things. It's uh, uh, fun. So I, I really have fun going to every uh, dialect and essentially exploring how they manage uh, the same concepts because uh, in the end you have the same concepts and um, but again it's uh, a challenge to, to have well I'm not going to show this we can launch a website and you already run your app right you replace index all right, there we go. So probably we can smaller this a bit. And uh, so, yeah, that's too bad. Hello. So you were trying to create an array, yeah. array. Uh, you were. So now they can do uh we you know on true and one two three, right? And uh display. Yeah, the breaker. So uh okay, break. So there you go. This is here uh, uh I mean what Yes, hello. You get a bluff. Um, in fact, the point is that uh, here, I uh, put you all implemented a stock input interpreter. So what, what I did essentially was to, okay, uh, here we have like two, two parts. One is the uh, small talk, the runtime that uh, he just built. And then outside it, I have implemented in JavaScript the API to connect to to plug it with uh, with this uh, IDE. So, uh, but uh, it is possible from outside and you know, from the side of the VM to explore this stack and extract information of the uh, different frames and, and and things like 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 that. I I don't uh, extract. I, I yeah still a lot of work to do because there should be the bindings here like uh reading from from each frame so yeah and yeah from from here this is website i mean you can try it. um every tool depends on this api so provided that this api which in, in this particular case of that is not complete yet uh will work uh smoothly i mean fairly good so i don't know if you want to Try something, or I can show more about. <laughs> Do you have a file here? I didn't want. I didn't want to copy the tell thing like file. All right. Okay. Is it running? Yes, indeed. So yeah. Well, uh, again, you want uh, live thing. Um, I mean. You'll find that uh, these are like the traditional tools, again, the minimal set of options, like create something in our collection. Uh, you have a blast browser, you have a fairly good number of uh, changes or refactorings, any option. Um, you can, I mean, the basic options, you can find in every small top. Um, I don't know, you can evaluate, explore, you can run tests, I don't know what to show exactly here, but um, I don't know, uh, searching code. I mean, there is a, um, um, yeah, it's reminding me of something. I, I, in, um, 
taking a look at what uh, Unico did uh, in terms of search. And I implemented something similar for this model, but in the case of FAR, I connected uh, the existing uh, search engine they have with this uh, tweet search. So here you can type um, more or less what you did it work, right? So quick search, um, I don't know what to show here. The tests, okay, let's go to some, I don't know, Rexams, they guessed. Oh, there's some handy um, kick text there. Um, I, yeah, it's not refreshing for some reason on the icon there, but uh, what's supposed to make change to is some uh, and then um, it should fail. Eh? So yeah, everything here you have the um, all the things. Uh, Again, this is a common view. It's typical, might be a bit uh, annoying at the beginning if you are really used to work with your super fancy and uh, beautiful dialect. But uh, in, in some cases, for instance, and this is uh, something that uh, it was already solved a couple of times in file specifically. But uh, let, let's uh, um, think about. Um, um, debugging remotely, um, I, you know, a system, you can use it, uh, a system in file, uh, with this, this kind of tool. So I don't know, um, think I, yes, it was your presentation in the thing. Yeah. I guess that thank you, strange man. <laughs> So I'm going to do a last, uh, what? pass through the X lots of, and then some questions speaking can come. So the last thing I wanted to show was that what were these, uh, image segment that I was talking about. So what we have here in this, uh, runtime that's JS, we have the JS, all the JS VM. There we have the image segments. And you can see here that we have a couple of image statements that were generated uh, through the main file that opened Faro and we read the, the sources. So what, what do you have there? Right? So let's, let's look at what this compiler.json is. So basically what you have is an object table, right? So, uh, one of the things that in the of hats is the list of the objects, they point to other objects. In JSON, you're going to have circular references, so you have to use a table. But anyway, you have all the table of things that point to other things. And then what you have in the case, this is, this is not that different to what different flavor, but uh, it's something similar. And uh, what you have in the end, I'm not sure where we are. Well, is that Besides the, uh, the object, you have the imports, right? So the imports are basically, um, things that you can use to, uh, to get, uh, and to wrap the original objects. If you have a symbol, you kind of save it in your library. Uh, so you say that you want this symbol and the way to, uh, to create it is to basically have a symbolic token or a symbolic reference and send it as symbol. So we will take the token and realize that object before loading, uh, the, like the, the image table. So that's, that's the way it works. Um, and one other thing is that in this particular small code, um, we don't have a global namespace. So each module defines its own namespace. And when you create a new module, you have to import everything you, you want to use, uh, except for some classes which are very, very, uh, usual. So for example, here we have this image segment builder. It's the one that makes the image segments. This module implements the writing of the JSON. And what it has here is a method that tells which names should be important, uh, and from where, right? So it says here from kernel, you have to import all these names, right? And bring them into our own namespace. So 
All methods are, are compiled without binding the, the names to the actual classes and objects. So when you use it for the first time, it will bind dynamically in the same way that binds members. And I think that's a rather interesting idea. And uh, that's all I wanted to show. So if there's the time, questions, uh, thank you. Hi, um, nice work. Um, I wanted to ask you about uh, the decision of making it in JavaScript, because one of the things that I uh, like about Smalltalk is that the, all of the development tools are developed also in Smalltalk, so you don't have to learn a new language to be able to edit and uh, inspect your own tools. Uh, I think like it's a really fun project, like, right, to build it in JavaScript, but um, is your plan on um, and like the community to adopt this, but what do you think about that? I have an opinion about that. I mean, um, <clears throat> first of all, uh, the outside world is not that ugly. I mean, um, and uh, secondly, I think that uh, we are all used to not only believe that uh, we see a truth that is partial, that the, the truth says essentially we can touch anything. And it's not that true because at some point, you, you find an, a big sign saying VM starts here or uh, external library starts here. So it's not real that you can touch anything, right? But specifically, the tools you are referring to, it's, it's true. You can modify them. But my personal experience is that you don't, I don't see many people extending tools every day. I mean, and, and in fact, uh, to me, uh, an option, let alone a, a, a whole tool, um, is the result, is not but the result of a long process with uh, conscious people working and even shape to that option until it emerges. And the day it emerges, uh, everyone says, okay, how could we live without this super option before, right? But uh, yeah, I think can you can have the practice of, okay, I have this problem, I, ha I can tweak the debugger and add this option. It's cool, but in the end, if you continue doing that for every single problem, you will find yourself in, the, in a sea of options that you and you alone and probably it's not the case, understand why are there and, and uh, what, what they do, right? And, um, and for that reasons, if you have a, a problem that deserves a special kind of tool, you can use GP. That's uh, the, the way to go. Instead of touching uh, um, a tool that is meant to, to uh, remain for a long, like a debugger, right? But yeah, including that, all only thing into a small dog would be a, a big challenge. Well, I wanted to add something, which is that, well, you, you had to have a small dog that ran on the web if you wanted to make a web ID, right? So. No, you have that, and it runs on the web. So you may want to implement your own IDE there. So we can try that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so I was asking because of, uh, because of that. I mean, having the possibility of using Smalltalk, uh, why not, right? And uh, maybe it's not uh, just being able to modify it, but also being able to understand it. So that was one of the reasons why I'm like here, right, in the Smalltalk community, because uh, the other languages doesn't, uh, don't usually let you be able to inspect your tools and be able to understand them. And then you can decide if you want to change them or not. And I also think that this is not, uh, at least I don't see it uh, like the external world and the internal world and so on, uh, because I had exactly the same problem in Ruby. So um, I had to uh, make, I wanted to make a change to Ruby mine, which is a Ruby IDE. And I uh, had to switch to Java when yeah. I, I would like to keep using Ruby, right? And the problem of um, that it's not so common to make our own good tools, I think personally that's something that uh, I want to, to change, right? I want it to be different. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's, I don't know. And by the way, the, the panacea the, the, of the uh, um, thing that you can touch at any level is the, uh, Meta circular 
uh, runtime that Portugal made in the past. So that's a uh, uh, contra- counter example of that. Hey, uh, thank you for the presentation. It was, it was very interesting to see that, those two things. Uh, I, kind of, I kind of feel the need of one of them. Um, and I was wondering, regarding to B or to X, sorry, have you guys tried uh, to write on Boone already? Sorry, write on Boone. What's Boone? It's uh, an alternative to know that it's supposed to be way faster. It has it's kind of a recent kind of new thing. Who are you, other strange person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you willing to possess that? <laughs> okay, I'm ready to one up. Thank you.